So guys, I just landed back in my hometown Düsseldorf at DUS airport. The flight took around 7 hours and it feels so good to be back in Germany after such a long time. My dad is going to pick me up now for a dinner and tomorrow we will start our first day of watch shopping in Düsseldorf, Germany. A small watch store next to the hotel where I'm staying. This kind of store you will see quite often in Germany. Small family owned businesses with mid-tier brands. A good selection of Seiko watches in display and usually I visit these stores to change batteries or buy some extra straps for my mid-tier watches. For the evening we are at the restaurant called Himmel und Ed, one of my favorite places in Düsseldorf as they serve great food and the best beer in the world, which is called Füchschen, a traditional dark beer famous in Düsseldorf. My dad is wearing his Breitling Navitimer he got from my grandpa at the time he completed his studies. Pretty small for a Navitimer, but these were the sizes they used to be around the 1990s. We are now on our way to the city center of Düsseldorf to visit one of the most luxurious streets of Germany, the so-called Königsallee. On this street we will find all the luxury boutiques like Gucci, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Wempe, Bucherer and whatever luxury brand you can think of. If you love shopping, this is the place to be. The weather is perfect, slightly cloudy with a nice 14 degrees that feels very refreshing after the whole year heat of Dubai. Beautiful old buildings next to modern architecture and a lot of green with parks and rivers that invite you for a walk. The first store we will have a look at is Wempe, right in front of us. A lot of Girard Perrault watches in the display, a brand quite famous in Dubai. Seems like they reach Germany as well and become more common over here. The Laureato 42mm in stainless steel for 15,000 euro or 16,300 US dollars. One of the best watches you can buy at the retail price in my view. High horology finishing, a fantastic brand, history and independent nowadays as well. Even a skeleton in display which is literally impossible to get in Dubai. The selection of Tudor watches, Black Bay 41s for 3,950 euro or 4,300 US dollars and a ceramic Black Bay 41 for 4,920 euro or 5,351 US dollars. Around 5% more expensive compared to the Dubai airport. More two-tone Tudors. And a Black Bay 58 for 3,540 euro or 3,850 US dollars. A Black Bay 58 silver for 4,470 euro or 4,860 US dollars. Some Pelagos watches made of titanium. And a selection of Tudor Royal that was initially launched only for the Asian markets, now also available in Europe. We can find a beautiful Lange & Söhne Saxonia Moonface for 40,000 euro or 43,500 US dollars in display. And this is the only Lange & Söhne available over here. And a selection of IWC watches ranging from the Top Gun to the Big Pilot. And now the display for which we all have waited, the Rolex display. A two-tone Yachtmaster for 14,100 euro. A 
a full gold and diamond style Yardmaster for 40,800 euro, the Explorer 1 36 mm at 7,100 euro and in the bag an Explorer 2 for 9,500 euro. In the front we have two Oyster Perpetuals, one in 36mm with black dial and a 41mm silver dial for 6250 euro. And two Datejust models, one with green dial, jubilee bracelet and white gold bezel for 10,300 euro and a blue dial on Oyster bracelet and steel bezel for 7950 euro. So much for Vamper, the first store of the big three over here. A huge selection of display pieces, but none of them was available for immediate sale. I visited the store actually two times. The first time I was pretty much ignored. The second time I stayed persistent until I could speak to the Rolex sales advisor. We spent around 45 minutes together talking about my current collection, favorite watches, other brands besides Rolex and how to start a profile at Vamper. The conversation was much cooler, more direct and more like an interview compared to Dubai. On the positive side, there were no restrictions like Dubai has, which means I was able to express my interest in every Rolex there is. In the end I decided on two models that shouldn't be too difficult to get and my German passport definitely helped. However, I have not yet been able to get the telephone number of the consultant. For the time being, Contact will remain via email. So whether one of these watches will ever arrive is a question that I will probably only be able to answer in a few months. One of the grey market dealers here in Düsseldorf, having all the Rolex Daytonas, a Tudor Panda chronograph and a Lange und Söhne Odysseus in display. At the lower display all the different versions of the GMT Master 2 over full gold to two-tone, root beer to Pepsi, Bad Girl and Batman, including some iced out versions, a meteorite dial and one vintage GMT. For the other brands we can find a nice selection of Patek Philippe Nautilus, Aquanaut and two Girard Perigo Laureatos. One with an ice blue dial that looks amazing. Moving on to the next big off rise dealer of the big three, which is called Rüschenbeck. A Yardmaster 2 full gold for 28,600 euro. Two full rose gold day dates, one with chocolate dial and diamonds indices in 36mm for 40,300 euro. A white gold 40mm day date for 40,800 euro and a yellow gold champagne dial in 36mm for 37,400 euro. A full gold submariner for 38,300 euro and some stainless steel Datejust watches. A rare green palm dial for 10,700 euro and a funky blue dial full stainless steel at 7,300 euro. Some Oyster Perpetual starting at 5,550 euro for the ladies version over to 5,650 euro for the 36 mm up to 5,950 euro for the 41 mm. A rare white gold Daytona. And a selection of Odema PG watches ranging from 38,500 euro for the 37 mm silver dial up to 54,000 euro for the 41mm chronograph in stainless steel. 
the selection of Tudor with the well-known models at the same pricing like Wempe offers them. Quick summary of my visit at Rieschenbeck. I couldn't make it past the reception as all the sales advisors seemed very busy besides me being the only client in the store. The nice lady at the entrance advised me to book an appointment in advance, which was unfortunately not possible within the next four days. Also she told me all Rolex watches would be for display only and nothing could be bought right away. So I guess before my next trip to Germany, I will call them and arrange for the meeting. Anyway, it was worth the experience and for the next time I will be prepared. From the selection of display watches, it seems like Rüschenberg has the biggest amount of watches but is also the hardest one to start a relation. The Swatch Store, a quick look at the Moon Swatch display, a good selection available but nothing that caught my interest. Bought some stuff at the Gucci Store. And now we are already out for the evening event in Köln, or let's say Cologne, to meet some of my longtime friends. For the dinner we decided to go to a Brauhaus here in Cologne, which is called Pefken. Traditional German cuisine and great beer called Kölsch. Even though as a Düsseldorfer I should stick to the dark beer, the Kölsch is quite okay as well. And with that we have it, my first two days back in my hometown. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for the next one. If you are from Germany, drop me a comment with your experience at Wempe and Rüschenbeck and let me know the secret code to start a relation with them. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and see you in the next one. Bye bye.